Hi Aries, this is Lucky with Lucky Seven Tarot. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. This is your October 2022 general reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Remember that these are general messages, so not every message will resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, go ahead and check your Moon and Rising sign and Venus videos for a more complete message, or feel free to check out my website, lucky 7 to see what I'm offering for the month of October. All right. Well, this first spread I'm doing is a Lenormand spread just to kind of get an overview of what may be happening for you for October. And then we will get into the tarot and keep going. All right. So remember that these messages can resonate also in the reverse. Okay. Um, Aries, if things have not been going well in your life, I feel like future in the, in the near future, things could be changing, uh, significantly for you. All right. There could be some sort of happiness or prosperity coming in. Okay. Now let's talk about some of these challenges that I'm seeing here, um, with the rod and the tower, there could be something where, uh, you and your family may be at odds you know, the, your family structure, your family environment, people that you consider to be family. Um, there may be some sort of obstacle in the way or disappointment where there could be bickering or arguing or something of that nature. All right. I'm also feeling like some of you guys, you've had this cloud over top of you. All right. Um, and it has to do with being, I feel like some of you guys are in the middle of an ending in your life, ending a relationship, um, or it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship, but there definitely could be some sort of ending of domestic partnerships. And I feel like some of you are at this place where either you're in the middle of ending domestic partnerships and having new partners come in, um, that could bring in a lot of happiness for you, or it could be the other way around. There could be a happy partnership that you're having that could turn into, you know, things could turn left quickly. I'm also seeing a choice or decision that you guys are going to have to make this month. Some of you, I am feeling like there could be some type of commitment manifesting for you, but it's like you're in the middle of a transition this month. All right. Um, I'm also seeing that some of you are going to get some sort of recognition for all the hard work and effort that you've put into something. There could be good news coming towards you. Uh, this could be an unexpected income or unexpected, you know, good fortune coming in either via a letter or some sort of news or information that comes towards you. I am seeing somebody um, very flirtatious with you. OK, so for those of you who are in the process of letting go of someone, you may be having to make a choice about letting go of somebody um, and having a new partner or whether or not you want to let go or try again. I don't know. That's coming up. All right. Let's see what the tarot has to say. What messages do you have for Aries for October? Remember that uh, I'm reading for love, but these messages may play out also in another area of your life, Aries. Okay. Messages for Aries regarding love in the month of October. So you do have the Ace of Pentacles at the heart of the matter. This is a new stable opportunity that's coming in for you. Some of you, this is something that has stability and a lot of passion. You could have a lot of sexual chemistry with someone. Um, I feel like it could be an earth sign or somebody that has earth in their chart, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I am seeing that this could be something that is a blessing in your life where you're getting what you want. It could end up being long-term um, for some of you, but there's something about needing to release or get yourself unstuck from the situation, uh, get out of negative thought patterns, that type of thing. Let's see what the challenge is for you in this situation, Aries. What's the challenge for Aries when it comes to this new opportunity coming in? The eight of swords. A lot of you are really in your head about this. You're holding back. You're stuck. All right. Um, yeah, it's like some of you are, there's this need for truth and honesty here 
that's going to bring balance. Some of you just need to be honest about how you feel. All right. Um, I feel like you have the power to manifest something here, but there may be something in the past that's holding you back from this. All right. Some sort of healing could actually need to be happening so that you can move forward. All right, guys. Um, I feel like there is a, an opportunity with someone that you feel very connected to where you could invest in this and it could grow. It would need to be something that's very nurtured, you know, but it also requires sacrifice. It requires you to walk away from something. Okay. So let's see what happened in the past. What happened in the recent past for Aries when it comes to love? The queen of cups. So there was mutual love with someone in the past. And this was something that you manifested here. But I feel like it, for some of you, it fell apart or it, there was some sort of drama within this situation. Somebody felt unappreciated. They felt unseen. I feel like someone here was definitely holding back. They were in the shadows sort of offering something to you or you were in the shadows offering something and it was taken advantage of. It was a new love offer, but someone was giving more than they were getting. I'm seeing you guys feel like your back is against the wall or somebody here felt like their back was against the wall. This resulted in somebody, there being some type of loss, uh, sadness, all right, because of this loss. Let's see what's on your mind. What is on Aries' mind in the month of October? The Knight of Pentacles. A lot of you, what's on your mind has a lot to do with a new opportunity. Letting, some of you, it's like, letting go, letting your guard down. A lot of you have, you know, you've been carrying a whole lot of weight. But I feel like you have a lot of emotion for someone, but things are sort of up in the air here. And somebody here feels betrayed, feels like there's a choice that has to be made to bring something to an end. Some of you already intuitively know what needs to be brought to an end but you're not doing anything about it because there's a lot of confusion here. I'm seeing there be like a lot of, like you have options or you don't know what to do about this, right? Some of you have more than one opportunity, but I see you're thinking about an offer. You're thinking about an opportunity that either is being brought to you or you're thinking about giving an offer, okay? but it's happening very slow, like snail's pace slow. What is hidden from Aries in the month of October regarding this situation? The Knight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. I feel like there could be some drama. I feel like there is a lot of some of you, this has to do with a child. There might be some sort of instability or drama you're dealing with. I feel like a lot of you, there's somebody really in their head. All right. I think that you can get what you want, but I'm almost feeling like some of you have dealt with somebody that tried to like get away with something, be sneaky. Tell me what is in Aries hopes and fears regarding love for the month of October. Justice. Aries, your hope is to have things be fair and honest and things to balance themselves out. You know, you're hoping that you're going to bear the fruit of your labor. All right. You're also afraid to do that. You're afraid to be honest here. You're afraid to bring balance into a situation. Um, I feel like a lot of you, you're, you may be single or feeling alone, even if you're in a relationship or there's thoughts of this, right? But it's like, you want to be in a relationship, but there's a lot of fear about that. All right. I definitely feel like the more close the closer someone gets to you, the more fear it evokes, all right? Because you do have the two of cups here.
But then right behind it, you've got the nine of swords, which only tells me that there's somebody that you have feelings for that, you know, the connection is mutual, but it's almost like the closer they get, the, the more fear it evokes within you. And it's like, you want them to love you. You want to be loved and you want it to be true. Right. Um, but someone here is, they're afraid of that love too, you know, um, afraid, to, I don't know, afraid to be vulnerable. Tell me what the most likely outcome is when it comes to Aries in love. The moon, and this is for the month of October, the moon in reverse, the page of cups. Somebody may end up being honest about their feelings. Possibly with someone, could be a Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, maybe a Cancer or Pisces. It doesn't really matter what the zodiac sign is, but I do feel like there was a, a breakup or a separation with someone from the past that you still have emotion for. You still have feelings for this person, okay? And I feel like the truth may be revealed that could end up bringing balance to this situation. All right, we'll find out more because I'm about to clarify. What can you tell me about this situation with my Aries subscribers out there? Make sure you guys hit the like button for me if you haven't already done so. It does help support the channel. I do appreciate it really. All right, let me turn this off. What's going on with Aries? Why the Ace of Pentacles? The Eight of Pentacles. A lot of you are, listen, there is an opportunity. The Knight of Pentacles, upright, it's here and it's on your mind. You're really thinking about giving or accepting an offer, putting in the work to have a brand new beginning with someone, a stable opportunity, all right? But I feel like, Either you or this person is bitter, heartbroken, something didn't come together, all right? There may have been harsh words exchanged. Somebody was holding back emotionally in this situation, all right? Tell me why the challenge is the Eight of Swords. Why is this, you know, somebody here holding back? The King of Swords. The challenge has a lot to do with you guys thinking and not acting. You're overthinking a situation. You have this guard up, all right? And if this isn't you, this is your partner. A lot of you, you have this opportunity for something really great, a brand new beginning that could be very healing for you. It could really grow. But look at this. You've got to get out of the Eight of Swords energy. And you have to be willing to take this risk with the Fool, all right? And I think this there is something here that a lot of you have been waiting for, all right? And it's like letting go of the past to move on. Being honest with yourself, okay? Um, tell me more. I want to get one more about this challenge, the King of Swords and Eight of Swords for Aries when it comes to love. Yeah, you've got to make a sacrifice to let go of something that you've been really holding on to, Aries. Something that's had a grip on you. It's been holding you back for sure. Look at this. And some of you, it has to do with the fact that you may even have other options. You don't know what to choose. Um, and it's like you, you're, you've you been blindfolded. You've been pushing away something that could be really good for you, that could be very stable. There's this need to be honest with yourself, all right? And be honest with everyone else. You in order to have what you want, you have the power to attain it, but you got to make a choice. And I think the the challenge for you to have this new love that could be very passionate, it could be very stable for you with this Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, you've got to give to it. You have to invest in it. All right. Why is this Queen of Cups in the recent past? So in the recent past, there was somebody that you had love for, all right, emotion, there was a mutual connection here, and it fell apart. And a lot of you, you know, somebody here has moved on, but it's like they're still looking back 
at what fell apart. Okay. I feel like there was unfinished business. Somebody may have walked away, but there was still unfinished business there that kept you kept someone's guard up. All right. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups in the past. Wow. Queen of Cups upright, Queen of Cups reversed, the Two of Cups, the Fool. A lot of you had a new love opportunity in the recent past where it was mutual. And then out of nowhere, something fell apart here. This, this was someone that I think you manifested in your life, or there, this was a part of your physical manifestation, but somebody gave up on this. All right. They gave up on it and it stopped growing because someone was not willing to lift the weight in this connection. All right. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles on Aries' mind. The Two of Swords. A lot of you are not seeing something clearly. You feel mentally stuck. You push people away. There's a new opportunity there, right? But you push someone away. And look at this. You don't want to be single. You don't want to be alone. All right? And I don't care if you're telling me you do. Like, you really don't. You don't want to be alone. You know, nobody wants to be alone. It's not in our human makeup to want to be alone, you know. Um, but I think that fear has a lot to do with holding you back, all right? Afraid to be hurt again, afraid to extend yourself. Um, so it's kind of like you push people away. Tell me more. The emperor in reverse. This is you. This is your energy with the emperor in reverse. It's like, and the devil in reverse. Some of you are dealing with another Aries, a Virgo, maybe a Capricorn here. It's like, look at this. The emperor in reverse. Okay. And the devil reverse. You have to break free of negative thinking of negative ways of looking at potential relationship partners and be willing to take action towards that. All right. There is an opportunity that's there. And a lot of you, things are out of balance. I feel like something fell apart because of somebody holding back, not knowing what they really wanted. Breadcrumbing, maybe being one foot in, one foot out. Tell me why this Knight of Swords is here that's hidden from Aries regarding love. Judgment in reverse and the fool. A lot, a lot of you, as you do let go of the past, some sort of past drama, instability, and you take some type of risk, all right, I feel like you have to walk away from something, all right, but you taking some type of risk to let go of the past and move on is going to be beautiful for you. Tell me more. The Hierophant in reverse. The Three of Swords. Three of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, it's like I see that. I definitely see where you need to be strong enough to, to make a commitment to walk away from something. Get out of your head, all right? Some of you have been so hurt, maybe from something unexpected that happened, that it's like, I think it's really difficult to move forward. Um, I'm also seeing for some of you, you could have some sort of unexpected drama come in that forces you to walk away. All right. I think a lot of you are, you're very much conflicted about what to you know, what's worthy of you waiting on and investing in and what isn't. And you guys got to, you know, it's time to shit or get off the pot. Okay. Why is justice here for Aries hopes and fears? The moon in reverse. Some of you are afraid of the truth. You're afraid that something may fall apart if you're honest. All right. And some of you, it's like, you're afraid. I feel like your hope is to have someone that's very honest and clear and that is, you know, 
things are in balance with this individual, right? But you, there's also this fear that if you're honest and you know you're open and vulnerable, that things will fall apart in your life. And the truth of the matter is, is that you've got to make a choice. If you want love, I feel like it's available to you, but it requires the eight of pentacles. It requires effort. You have to put your, you know, you got to put your back into it. Tell me more. The five of cups in reverse. Yeah, some of you... <laughs> I do see you wanting to get over some sort of feelings of instability in your life, all right? But some of you are afraid to be pushed away, rejected. Why is the moon in reverse the outcome for Aries in the month of October when it comes to love? The nine of wands. A lot of you are going to be persevering. I feel like you're thinking about what direction to go in and getting real honest with yourself about what you need to, to release. And some of you, you need to release this feeling of being stuck and take action. All right. And in order to do that, you got to let go of the things that you were holding on too tightly to something in the past. Tell me more. It's hindering you. The Knight of Cups in reverse. The Five of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Ugh. I do see you guys letting go. It's crazy because it feels like you guys are letting go of a relationship either because you know the truth. But then there's a new relationship or new opportunity that comes in right behind that for some of you. Tell me more about this moon in reverse as the outcome. The Knight of Swords. Yeah. I feel like there might be some level of conversation with someone, some type of conversation where you may clear the air or you may be honest with this person or learn some type of truth that allows you to let certain things go. All right that have been like hindering you or holding you back. Let's see what else we can conjure up here. What does Aries need to know about what's coming towards them in love? Aries, I feel like this is a complex situation. I am seeing that there is a possibility to get into a higher level commitment with somebody that could be a soulmate connection for you. And it's a sudden change. It's a sudden transformation. Some of you may even, I don't know, if you are if you are married, there could be some sort of sudden change. If you're not married, there could be an, a sudden opportunity that presents itself to find your person, okay? Um, I do feel like some of you have just been in a codependent connection with someone that's causing you some kind of block in your life. And you need to heal from that, healing your heart. You need to heal from that addiction or from that codependency. What else? I see you guys spending time with your friends, having conversation. I'm telling you, I do feel like there's somebody that compliments you really well that you need to express yourself to, but it's like you guys are taking time, your time to do this. A lot of you are preparing yourself for something new. I feel like you guys could end up falling in love with somebody. There could be a wedding or like that somebody that could be your forever person. But some of you are needing to take time to heal in order to move on is what I'm seeing. What else? Tell 
Some of you, listen, when I tell you, you have to make a choice. You have to decide where you want to be, all right? And you need to be more carefree with it. Yeah, there's somebody you have to express your feelings to, okay? And this person may not necessarily be optimistic when it comes to this situation. I feel like um, this is somebody that you've been, there's someone that you've been waiting for, all right, that you need to make the romantic gesture towards this individual because you need to recognize you do deserve love, all right? And I feel like you're in separation from this person, but there's a lot of passion there and, and it's mutual. It's a mutual feeling. I see. I'm telling you, I feel like some of you guys are either engaged to someone or you maybe, I don't know, there's somebody you want to be, you want to be with this person long term. Here's the thing. You've got to free yourself of the past and you've got to stop, like you've got to let go of trying to control this situation because it is a mutual feeling. There's mutual emotions there. All right. And I feel like this is a new person. Okay. This is a new person that you've got to learn to make the effort. And the way that you make the effort is to release codependent connections. There's a lot of passion there, guys. Lots of it. Lots of passion with this person. But it look at that. Requires the effort. Um, whether or not you're going to make the effort. I mean, in your reading so far, it looks like you're thinking about it. Or you've thought, you know, it's... It, it was on your mind. It's not something necessarily just yet that I'm seeing that you're actually doing it. All right. Um, a lot of you are career focused, focused on advancing yourself in your career. I feel like you're closed off to somebody. You're withholding from a soulmate. Yeah, look at that. You are closed off, and that is the obstacle in your in your connection. That is the obstacle. But this may be a true love, like I said, with a whole lot of passion. I've seen it like in the four decks that I've used so far, I've seen it three times. So <laughs> you guys mirror each other, like literally mirror one another. you got to let go of control. There is an obstacle in the way. Some of you, it's an immature person somebody not stepping up What else can you tell Aries? What does Aries need to know for October? Somebody is needing validation. I'm also feeling like somebody here may be turning to drugs or alcohol or sex, like unhealthy behavior. They may be like acting out because of that. I feel like there's a younger person involved. Something here is hidden from you and everybody's about to find out or it's about to be exposed and that may be causing you some type of setback or struggle. You need to trust your intuition about something that you need to walk away from or dodge. I feel like somebody is trying to change your perspective, your point of view. They may even be like manipulating you. I'm also seeing somebody gets somebody got ghosted or gets ghosted because of some sort of 
information or somebody is not remorseful for what they've done or they're acting like they don't care. This may be somebody that, I don't know, someone here is like an influencer or has like a lot of influence or they're not, they're acting, somebody could even be acting like they don't care on social media. Some of you are going to be taking some time to disconnect from social media. I do see somebody that has been pretending, like you walking away from somebody that is a pretender. Okay. Or them doing this with you. What else can you tell Aries? I feel like you and this person are thinking of each other. You may also have self-esteem issues, not feeling good about your the way you look. I feel like somebody here doesn't want pieces of you. They want the whole deal. Okay. I see somebody getting their karma from, I don't know, someone got ghosted. Somebody went ghost. It's like you almost had everything that you wanted. All right. You almost had everything that you wanted, but somebody is like, they're acting like they don't care, but they care so much. Somebody also, I feel like you guys are getting your mojo back. You may feel like you're back in action in some way. I do see you speaking to someone, speaking your truth. Someone here is really thinking about you, Aries, but they don't want to be a fool. They don't want to be a fool in this situation. This I am feeling like somebody... Hmm, I feel like the timing is off. Something here was toxic. Some of you were dealing with somebody that had another person and the, it was like you were getting pieces of this individual or they that's what you were giving because they had somebody else that they were also giving to. I feel like somebody that you're not talking to, Aries, or isn't speaking to you has a really good like game face on and they want to talk to you. They want to they want the truth or they want you to tell them the truth. Somebody may even tell you like you're the best one. You're the you're the one for them, you know, or you need to tell them this. I feel like someone here is wishing you well because they want more than what you're willing to give or you're wishing somebody well. You're doing this to them. I feel like this person, like, someone is thinking about a person who is, like, really easy to love or, like, the love just, it, it happened quickly or it happened really, it felt kismet almost. And they're thinking about whether or not to go in that direction or to, like, move on. I do see big changes. Some of you have made changes or are making changes since somebody has walked away. What else, Aries? Someone here is struggling. Possibly because their family and friends may be affected by this. I see somebody that wants a commitment, but they may have grown cold hearted. I also see someone here asking for a second chance. Listen, is somebody, some of you guys are going to, I don't know, get married, ask somebody to marry you or ask somebody to be in a, in a new commitment. Because I feel like before someone was not ready. 
they weren't ready. They acted like they wanted to be single, but I don't know. There's, it's like they're recognizing that you're the one or this is, yeah, this is you. I don't know. Somebody lied and said that they moved on or I don't know how that relates to you. I feel like someone's self-esteem is shot. Like I said, feeling like not feeling good about themselves. Things may have been moving too fast. And someone here was jealous, but they refused to admit it. Somebody has a lot of regret that they didn't try harder for this connection. I see a secret. Somebody is holding back the fact that they're apologetic. They're sorry for giving mixed signals, but they have trust issues. They're also, I feel like somebody's family and friends may not like this person or like support your relationship with this person. And that may have, I don't know, caused you to have trust issues and feel like maybe it wasn't worth fighting for. I don't know. The secret has a lot to do with someone feeling sorry. And they, it's like somebody here feels the other person slipping away. They're apologetic, but they may have even still had feelings for an ex or something. They want to talk. They want to talk. They want to communicate. All right. What else can you tell Aries? What's coming up for Aries? There could be an older or more mature woman that you're courting. Somebody here, this person could be very sad is what I'm seeing. Depressed. Some of you are this older, mature woman that feels, you know, that may be going through some sort of depression here. Some of you guys are ending something with a family and moving on. Or there is an ending, something changing within your household or your family life. I feel like you're waiting on something. Somebody is waiting here to make something official or make a, a decision. A, somebody could be waiting on like a court decision. I am seeing a blessing coming in. Some of you guys may even find out someone is pregnant. That's obviously not for everyone. You know if that's your message or not. Um I feel like there's this sense of feeling lonely, but why? You guys have unexpected blessing coming in. This could even be like child support for some of you, spousal, spousal support. Some of you have a choice between like leveling up and maturing. Um, I also feel like somebody in this situation feels like someone was chosen over them. I do see you guys are going to make a choice. A lot of you are thinking about the future, thinking about making possible like changes in your home. I feel like there's something that's stopping you from having a long-term healthy commitment here that you've been waiting on. There's a change within your home, guys, um, that or that affects your home life. I'm also seeing some, some of you are going to court over a child. Some of you, um, okay. Some of you are either going to court over a child or you may find out news of a pregnancy or news of a child coming in to your life. Some of you are going to get into a relationship with somebody who has a child. 
could be a boy child for some of you because there could be a boy child involved. I do feel like there's something here that you've been working on or you put effort in where someone was wearing a false mask and now you have like this choice to make. Someone is waiting on something here to change between the two of you. And this might be somebody with health problems or like mental health, physical health, emotional health problems. This person I feel like is depressed, whoever this is. They're waiting on something to change. All right. Let's see what advice Spirit has for you, Aries. What advice do you have for Aries? Being authentic will radiate more pure energy than being an ideal you. This is perfect, especially for those of you who have dealt with someone where you were listening to other people's opinions about this person, or you were worried about other people's opinions because being authentic will radiate more pure energy than being an ideal you. If there is somebody that you love and you want to be with, don't worry about what other people are going to say or what they're going to think. Be true to yourself first, okay? Trust your instincts. Listen to your intuition. What else? You will have success and victory, Aries. You're going through a temporary situation. What else do you have for Aries? Be more concerned with your character than your reputation. This is telling you be more concerned with who you are than who other people think you are. Be more concerned with the people that, you know, with what is best for Aries, all right? Because nobody else has to love what you love, like what you like, deal with what you have to deal with. And remember, look at that. Things you take for granted get taken. So something that you... You know, there's something in your life getting removed. You may need to look at where you've taken that person or that situation for granted. And you need to be real. Be honest with yourself. Don't worry about other people's opinion of you. Okay? Um, don't worry about your reputation. Your character is your character. All right? You will have more success. You will radiate at a higher vibration when you start doing what feels good to you, what feels right for you and not worry about other people's opinions of your life. All right. You only get this one right here. So you might as well be happy in it. All right. That is what I have for you, Aries. I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching. Please make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I go live and when I post new videos. All right. I love you guys. I hope you're loving on yourselves. Peace, love, and blessings to you always. Bye-bye.